BIM has an incredibly powerful calculation engine that lets you go beyond the standard existing fields of your data source by creating calculated measures and calculated attributes. In order to do so, we'll click on this button here to open the calculations drawer, where you'll see a list of the different calculated measures and attributes at your disposal. We're going to start by creating a standard calculated measure. What I'd like to do is create a calculation which returns the revenue generated by our gold client plan. In order to do so and start creating my formula, I'll just start typing. I'm going to need an if-then expression, so if I type if and press return, the skeleton of that formula will be put into my formula box, and all I would need to do now is to fill in the blanks by typing some more of my formula. Here, for example, I'm going to find my client plan and say if that equals gold, then I'd like to return the sum of my revenue. The formula will automatically check itself to make sure it's correct, save, and it will then be available in your measures. Here, just to check that it's worked, we'll add client plan into rows. And there you can see it's filtered out the gold client plan revenue. Next, let's take a look at date range calculated measures. Here, I'd like to create something which gives us our revenue year to date. I first need to select the measure on which I wish it to be based and the date, and then I can select this year from the list of simple options available. For more advanced date ranges, clicking here allows you to do that. I will save, and it is now available to use in a query. Just to check that that did apply correctly, I'll add year, and then we can see it's based on the current year. Time comparison calculated measures differ from date range calculated measures in that they allow you to compare different periods of time easily. I'm going to create something called last year, which will be based on revenue, on our bill date, with an offset of one year in the past. I can now use this in a query, revenue with last year revenue, and by putting year in columns, I'll be able to compare the two, like so. By changing this into a grid, and also configuring my chart to put measures on rows, we'll be able to see the result more clearly. We'll now take a look at calculated attributes, which will return text values rather than numerical values. We'll start with a standard calculated attribute. Here we're going to create a rating for our different client plans. Again, I'm going to use my if then else expression and say that if the client plan is not empty and the sum of revenue is greater than 3 million, then we'll say that that is good, else it's bad. Save, and we can now apply this into a query. With revenue, to see the good and the bad client plan revenues. By adding client plan into the query as well, we'll be able to see exactly which client plans fall into the good and bad ratings. As well as standard calculated attributes where you type in your own formula, there are also some other preset calculated attributes available in BIM. Here we'll take a look at groups. And I'd like to create a group of my country attribute. I'll select the country attribute and the values I wish to group together. I'll add a group, name that group, in this case Europe, 
and we'll add the other values as they are. Save, and it's now available as a calculated attribute. And here we can see our Europe group amongst the other countries. Sets allow you to create a reusable list of attribute values. So I'm going to create a Europe set into which I'm going to add my European countries. This list can then be used in my query. Other calculated attributes include ordered sets, renamed sets, baskets, top and bottom attributes, and global variables. For more information about these different calculated attributes, please refer to the BIME online product documentation.